Hi, let's see how we can build a form with Caspio that calculates monthly mortgage payments and total interest paid. As you can see from my live example, as we enter in the mortgage amount, let's say over 30 years, and with the interest rate of 3.1, you can see how the form automatically calculates your monthly payments and total interest paid. Now let's go to Caspio. Let's see how we can add these formulas to get these simple calculations. Well, let's take a look at our table first. We always need to have an ID field at the top of our list, and I set that to a random ID. Then I have my field for mortgage amount, mortgage term in years. This is where we input number of years for the loan in terms of months. So this is going to be a simple calculation where we take the total number of years times 12. So if it's 30 years, it's going to calculate 360. And we're going to need that figure in our equation to calculate the total monthly payments. Interest rate, this is where you put the rate. In my live example, I put 3.1, but you can add any rate that the credit union or bank gives you. And then we're going to have a monthly payment field, which later you will see me on the data page level, turn this field into a calculated value so that we can add our equation to calculate the monthly payments. And finally, total interest paid, which is also going to be a very simple calculation. And again, once we get into a data page, you will see how I put together that equation to calculate the interest paid. So let's go to data pages and let me show you how to build that form that calculates both of these two figures. So the first form is the live example that we looked at just a few minutes ago. This one already calculates my monthly payments and also total interest paid. But the second form is where I'm going to be adding those equations so that you can see how to calculate those figures. So if I hit preview now, you will see that the entire form is composed of text fields. I want the bottom three fields to actually calculate those totals. So let me edit the data page and show you how that's done. Let's navigate all the way to the properties screen. And once you reach this screen, the first change that I want to make is mortgage term in months. So I want to be able to calculate number of years times 12. And it's very simple to do that. You'd select your field and using the form element dropdown, you're going to select calculated value. And in here, all you have to do is insert the field for years and with a very simple times attribute, just put 12. So now what's going to happen is whatever number you put in this field, let's say 30, the field underneath that will take that 30, times it by 12 to give you 360. So let me preview so you can see. So if I input number of years to be 30, you will see how this computes to 360. Now I don't really have a need to display this figure on my form. I'm going to hide that field. And we're going to use two HTML blocks to hide the field. Let me go to Caspi and show you how that's done. I'm going to insert an HTML block. And then using the advanced tab, we're going to disable the HTML editor. Go back to the standard tab again. And we need to add div and some inline CSS in order to hide our field. And to do that, we're going to type out div style equals display none, semicolon, close the quotations, and then close the caret, and then just one more div tag. And then we need to close both of these two div tags in a second HTML block. I'm going to insert one more underneath my term in months like this so that we're wrapping this field in between these two HTML blocks. Once again, we're going to go into the advanced tab, disable the HTML editor, and then all you need to do is close both of these two div statements like this. And now when you hit preview, you will no longer see that field on the form. It's still there in the background behind the scenes. We just chose not to display it. And even if I input the number of years, there's a hidden field here that's calculating to 360. Next, let's see how we can calculate monthly payments. So we go down to this field here. Once again, under form element, we want calculated value. And this equation is going to be a little bit more lengthy in order to calculate this correctly. You can find this equation online if you want to. Just look for how to calculate monthly mortgage payments equation and you should be able to find that equation very easily if you google it but here's how we can do that we're going to take the mortgage amount so we're going to first insert that field okay then we want a times attribute and then we're going to add two parentheses because first we need to calculate the interest and the way we're going to calculate that is by taking the interest rate first so let's include the interest rate and we want to be able to divide that by 1200 close the parentheses because we're trying to calculate this first and then we want that to be to the power of one plus 
the interest rate divided by 1200. So we're going to once again add a times attribute here. And then we're going to insert this function to the power of like this. And then in between the parentheses, what we want is one plus, and then add one more parentheses and then insert the interest rate field and divide that by 1200. And then close the parentheses, comma, insert the field for number of months that we are calculating. And after that field, you're going to insert two more parentheses, and now we need to divide this entire number that we have on the top with, and then we're gonna add one more parenthesis here. So the power, instead of typing, I could type it out, but I'm gonna show you how to inject that using our math function here. So power, like this, and then in between the parentheses, we're gonna add one plus. Once again, we need to calculate that interest rate, so we're going to add one more parentheses here, and then let's insert the field, interest rate divided by 1200, close the parentheses, and then afterwards comma, and then we're gonna take the number of months. Okay, and after that field, we're going to go ahead and close the parentheses, minus one, and then once again, close the parentheses. And this is how you're gonna calculate the total monthly mortgage payments. So if I verify the formula now, it looks valid. One more thing that I wanna add here is if that field is empty, so if nothing is calculated, I want to replace that with a zero. So if it's null, I wanna replace it with a zero. So at the very beginning of my formula, I'm going to insert a miscellaneous function Oops, over here. At the very bottom, you're gonna find something called is null. Delete the closing parenthesis, and at the very end, just put comma zero, and then close it, which means that if this entire thing is empty, I want to replace it with a zero. You can also format the field. So if I click on formatting, I would like to customize this to make it currency, and I want to have two digits displayed after my decimal. I'm gonna click OK, and now let's see what happens when we do preview. If I input my mortgage amount to be 750,000 over 15 years, with the interest rate of let's say 2.5, this is what your monthly payment is going to be for that loan term. So now how do I calculate the total interest paid? Let's go back into our account, select our very last field. Once again, select calculated value. And here what we want to do is grab the nested value, which is the monthly payment. You don't have to repeat the entire formula again. All you need to do here is insert that field now as a parameter, which is the monthly payment because it's already being calculated. You wanna times that by the number of months that you need to pay off that loan. So you times that with the field that we're calculating, number of months. So you wanna move these this figure inside the parentheses because you need to calculate that first. And then what you're gonna do is subtract the initial mortgage amount payment. So then you insert that as your field like this. And one last thing that we want to do here, again, there's two things that we want to do is we will also want to use the is null. So if it's empty, I want to replace it with a zero. So at the very beginning, just grab your miscellaneous function, which is at the very bottom, is null, delete the closing parenthesis, and then just put a comma zero and then close the whole thing. And let's format this as currency. Two digits after the decimal, click OK, let's hit preview and it should now work correctly. So once again, if I select 750,000 over 15 years with the interest rate of 2.5, you're gonna be able to see our monthly payment and over 15 years at 2.5, you're gonna end up paying $150,000 in interest over those 15 years. And this is how easy you can do calculations in Caspio. If you have the formula and if you know how to translate the formula into that equation, Inside Caspio, you can very easily build simple calculators and even more robust calculators depending on what you're trying to calculate. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave us a comment down below. For additional videos and articles on how to use Caspio, visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching.